what's going on guys all right so this is a little different i am getting the moped out so it needs some tubes these are flat they've blown the actual valve stem out of that one I believe that one's got a big old split in the inside so it's been sitting i want to say shoot probably 14 so what's that wow math um eight years so that's been sitting between six and eight years probably that's my good guess i did get it running at one point in time but it was not running good so normally it's come with a 50 cc this is the big bore kit so it's a 70 cc it's got a bigger piston this section of the head that actually came with the kit i think there was a spacer here rings the pin for the piston rod the whole nine yards it was really sweet so in order to do that you have to buy your own jet so i bought a larger jet it's i want to say a 75 and then the original one's like 57 not not a big deal but i'm gonna see what i can clean up if you see down in there that's supposed to be black that's like debris from the fuel so i'm gonna clean that out spray it out real good it literally is like sludge in the bottom of that thing so it has been sitting a long time i didn't drain the fuel like you should have so all i gotta do is really clean there's nothing to these things the screen caught a lot of debris, so I'm going to I'm gonna try to clean it. If not, I'll get a new one. Not a big deal. This is pretty corroded, so I'm going to see if I can find a new one of these. This fuel line is hard as a rock, so I'm going to get some more of that. Nothing crazy. Um, it would be cool to get a better air filter for it. There was a gasket, like a cardboard. As you can see, it's, it's pretty much shot. It's like in four pieces over there. This is the original air filter for it super simple super cheap so i don't know i might try to see if we can get something or just slap that guy back in not a big deal but i need to change the fluid in it i'm gonna clean this guy up and then we'll come back all right so i got this all cleaned up pretty good i'll probably spray it out one more time get rid of some of that powder wipe it out good um got the screen all cleaned up good so i can put that back together i did get in the mail i got some fuel line some inline filters they don't have one of these that is pretty much the filter right there so i'm gonna put one in that way i can if there's crap in the tank it'll clean it out good that came with a bunch of clamps so if i get any more of these mopeds i got plenty of stuff and then uh i'm gonna try to clean this up i'll see if i can get a new one I don't know if it's gonna be that bad i'll pull the plug out make sure that's good but i'm gonna get this back together and i did get my inner tubes in so i'm gonna yank that guy apart and then probably pull that one off too because that one needs to be done so i guess uh enjoy some time lapse for now Alright, so I got this years ago. It's just a simple Harbor Freight o ring kit. It'll probably be fine. I could probably just line it up to which one fits it the best. Like, I thought about doing something more like that. More like a rubber gasket, if that's the right. Honestly, that's pretty good. It's a little loose. I'll see what else I got. Maybe I'll have to cut one. But it was the one that was on there was more like this where it's like a hard but i only need like if i really want needed to i could cut more of this out with a drill and put that on there It'd probably work really good doesn't need to be that thick though that's big So this would be good, but it's like twice as thick as I need it. I 
Honestly, that one looked like the best. That's like foam. I don't want that. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. It's a little thick, so I'm going to see if I can slice it down the middle and use one for the top and one for the bottom. Well, there's part of the O-ring from the first change, probably. How do you slice an O-ring half and half? All right, so I got it sliced in half. It's not the best. I'll shave off some of these high spots. But I'll use the better one for the bottom. And the top one really is just to keep debris out. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Alright, I'm up to Google. So now all I gotta do is fill it up here. Let it come out there. Put this guy back in. Put that guy back in. Add some fuel. I'll check the spark. Clean that guy. Oh, that's bad. We're almost there. Alright guys, so now I need to do tubes because these are not a bead seal style. They are a tube style. So I have brand new tubes for front and back. This one has a tube in it. But the valve stem decided to blow off. So I don't have a clue where it went. So these are kind of a pain in the butt because you got to break the break the bead down without tearing the tire up. Now these tires aren't that old. Um, usually you can get a life on them. Oh, made in Korea. That'd be great. Um, and they, these are directional. If you look right there, there's a direction. There's an arrow. I don't know if you can even see it. There you go. Yeah, I think these I bought in. 2010 so they're 12 years old but they don't even they've been stored inside so they still got good tread there's no dry rot so you only go like 50 on them they'd be fine so i'm gonna try to get these broken off i'm gonna pull one side off and then pull the tube out fish the new tube in and then try to put the bead on without tearing the tube so we'll see how i get along these tubes are trash, so I'm going to try it with a pick. But if you're trying to save a tube, that would not be a good idea. There we go. If you get them to the center. This has that nasty ass slime in it. Oh, you hear it. So gross. Hoping these are the right size. I 
actually looks pretty good. So now we're just gonna get this in there. These are like doing bike tires with stiffer sidewalls. There <sighs> oh, we go. One down. film max 33 so let's do like 30 because I'm fat there's 30 I don't hear a thing It may take a minute to like riding it to seat the bead and it will probably seat if I let it sit here. And I don't hear any noises. Now I gotta do the front so I won't bother you with that one. Alright guys so I actually got the rear tire back on. I got the new front tube in. It's good to go. It's got air in it. It's all mounted up. I just want to get knocked out because that's doing these tubes are pain in the ass. I showed you how to do that one. Now the chain, it's a little tight, but if you look right here, how that's got like a smaller over here and then it gets bigger. So basically what you do is you get it lined up to where it's running true by pushing down on this or pulling and it's the same thing on the other side. So you can like tweak your tire basically make it run true with the chain but also bring the tension out of the chain at the same time so it's a pretty simple setup and since this is it basically the pivot point is right in line with the chain you don't have to worry about losing slack when you hit bumps or have weight on it you should be fine so i got the covers that go right here i don't know where the screws went because i took them off years ago so i'll find some screws that fit this i think i know what kind of screws fit these and i probably got a ton of my toolbox so i ended up putting the pedal back on because i didn't have i didn't find one that was not a bike bicycle pedal so i'm just saying whatever so i got this back on i cleaned it up it was a little corroded instead of trying to find a new one i'm gonna make sure this one works first why put yeah i could have bought a car for 20 and i could have bought this for 20 and then i could have bought a pedal for 20 and i it's a moped. It's not my daily driver. Am I going to drive it to work? Heck yeah. Doesn't need to be perfect. Just want to get it running. Check out that sweet sticker. That thing's been on there a long time. I didn't, I didn't put that on there. So, but 
now uh i need to get some fuel in it now it is a 50 to 1 uh some of these mopeds in the seat they had a oil canister you put your two-stroke oil in and then on the front of the carburetor they had like an oiler so if that oiler went bad or got clogged you would run straight gas in a two-stroke engine and fry the piston this one is like the base model it didn't even come with turn signals so it has the it has the thing for them up here it goes right there but there's not even a button for it so it doesn't even it doesn't even have turn signals so it didn't have the oiler which i'm glad it didn't because if you pre-mix it, you'll never run straight gas through it. And that's, even if I had an oiler, I would just delete it and pre-mix my fuel because it's so much safer. Because you get one clog in that, you're done. You got to rebuild the motor. The piston's shot. Rings are blown. You're, you're screwing the whole head up. So, this is the easier way. Yeah, you got to pre-mix it, but you can make five gallons of fuel and it'll last you six weeks. So, it's not like it's that hard, you know. So all I got to do is get some fuel, get some fuel tomorrow, get it fueled up, and then we'll take it on test drive and uh, go from there. Hopefully I can get a couple more of these. It'd be kind of cool to have a handful of these just sitting around. All right. All right, guys. I ended up putting it back together. I got the tires all back on. I adjusted the brakes. If anybody wants to see that, throw it down in the comment below. I can show you how to do that. That's not a big deal. Um... I did forget that the taillights broke, so I ordered an LED one for that. They have the, I think it's come from like Germany or something. But the bottom bulb was busted because something hit it and it looks like it pushed in my fender too. I've got a set of tags for it. It's ready to ride. Got fuel in it. It should be good to go. I ended up putting that pedal back on because I didn't really find anything I like. So I'll wait. I'll see what I can find. It's, it's one of those things you can tinker with for a while. I did get the rear wheel kind of lined up. And I don't know if I showed this earlier, but it, you know, it's eccentric, so you can adjust it, you know, by tapping this or taking a pair of pliers and pulling that, you know, and just tweak it a little. Um, I thought about getting new shocks and stuff, but the bushings aren't really blown out. They're kind of getting a little worn out, but you know, it should be fine. Got the side covers on, got everything else buttoned up. So I'm going to pull the choke and... See how she does. This should be fun.